We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Detroit Lions and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 20. if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Here's gone. And that is incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. a handoff to Sanders. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Another run with Sanders. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Six yards the pickup, and that's a first down. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there, and I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him, because right now, they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. Second and goal from the one. Ready. They'll try to run with Sanders, and he is going to lose yardage here. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. 
No gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys are good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope. The good things are in store here today for them. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really... He's got a man complete! And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. They give him a gain of 38. When you think of guys that are built to be big arm quarterbacks, Jared Goff, he fits that mold, and he showed it off right there. On first and 10, it's Swift. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second and fourteen. Play action. It's gone. Steps away. Now he's going to let it go deep back over the middle. And this is taken in at the five. A big play there for Detroit. And even 50 yards after the big play. A chance to finish now on first and goal. Williams is in for a Lions touchdown. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the... this Philly offense set to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amani Oruorie, and the Lions are going to take possession of the football. But when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Go off a handoff here to Swift. 
And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now a play fake, and it's gone. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third, golf. Touchdown! Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one? I think that's a good way to look at it, a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, it's still in the first half here, a long way to go. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. On first and 10, it's Sanders taken down at the 42. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. First and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Sanders has it over the middle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. From the 40 now on second down, Hurts. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Here's Hurts to throw. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amani Oruorie. And the Lions are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. He's going to look deep down the field. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. It's the first 
thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range. And the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they can at least attempt to kick before the half. And he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield. So he took it upon himself to get them in the field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. This one taken just inside the 10. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. A give running left. It's Sanders. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 70 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A big play there for Philly. Give him 42 yards on the ground. And a guy that can change the game shows you a glimpse of it right there, taking the ball down inside the red zone. It just tells you how tough it is for a defense. You just hold on all game and essentially hold your breath. Will they break a big one on us at any point during the game? It just happened right there. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only three, second and short, three. so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. And the stop will come inside the 5 at the 4. Oh, Sanders is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Well, I have to think that the wheels are really spinning in their play caller's mind now. That little setback there on first down. They'll have three more shots if that's what it takes because they've got to take field goals out of their thought process. They need a touchdown and a conversion to tie this game. What play calls does he have on that sheet? And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Go 
going for it with Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So fourth and goal, their head coach gave that offensive line one more chance to punch it in, and this time they were successful. They certainly paid off the coach's confidence, didn't they? And how about the fact that they stayed with the ground game? Because a lot of times in that situation, partner, we see teams try and roll the quarterback out, give him a little run-pass option, and treat it like a two-point conversion play. In this case, they went with a little bit more power and got it done. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. offense ready to kick off their next drive after that last touchdown we just saw Charles we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half and Brandon this drive is all about one word to me and that's the word answer because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half keeping them in the driver's seat and he'll take this to about the 24, a gain of three. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. One of the best routes, one of the favorite routes of any play caller. He just ran now a nice little angle route. That's supposed to be a catch, and usually it is in the running back drop. Yeah, I mean, he's a running back, but he's got hands. He should have caught it. Here we go on four. Golf. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fourth down, no problem. 19 yards that time, but now it's first and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to get this up to midfield. It's not quite cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll try it now with Swift. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. Once again, it's Swift. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 46 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. 
Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back from the 34 now. Here's first and 10. From the gun, here's Swift. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. On second down, Swift. And a short gain down to about the 33. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. So third down and a field goal from here would be right about 50 yards as they try to get closer. Now it's gone. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And I know they would have loved to have had a touchdown there to give them some cushion. But now, kick the field goal. Get the lead. Let your defense bring you home. Show some faith in those guys on the other side of the ball. So here comes a very important kick now for Michael Badgley. This for the lead in the final stages. Badgley able to punch this one through. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there. A big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Knowing he just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Right back to Sanders on first down. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 18 more yards there and another first down. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll take it down to the 30-yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Back to throw. And that one going to come up short, low throw. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his home. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Back to throw. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. But they certainly have success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I were going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And we have free football overtime. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. Jackpot. 
So it's the Eagles who will get the first chance to go down and find a winner as they'll get it here and we are back underway. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. All set up for him right now, Charles. Opening possession of overtime. They've got the football. They also obviously have this home crowd behind them in a big way. They get that extra energy from them, but they've got to be careful not to let that adrenaline get away from them and play too fast or create errors of their own making. Use that energy, embrace it, but make sure they channel it the right way. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. 30.